What's up, everybody? This is CodyFire.tv again with another review of the NVIDIA Shield console. It is a, pr a new unit that I got, new Android box. It's kind of hard to see, but I'll show more info on it later. Those who don't know or haven't seen it, it's fairly small, but uh, this is the controller that it comes with. And if you are familiar with the OUYA console, it's pretty much the same, except this controller is bigger. The nice thing about it is rechargeable. Uh, you just plug it into the unit and it'll recharge via the provided uh, cord and that's uh, your options play go back and uh, turn on and off which is pretty nice but uh, today we're just going to be focusing on the actual Kodi part of it and later on we'll do the Android part in another separate video for uh, all the side loading the apps and so on the unit does have 3 gigabytes of RAM which makes it very very nice and the processor that it has it's extremely quick and this thing does up to 4k also uh, TV resolution and well, let's get to it so uh, bear with me here I'm using the controller because like it's kind of awkward to hold in one hand but while filming this so uh, let's go to the, get to the videos go to the video add-ons and let's check things out uh, this is the skin I have on there it's called neon it's nice I like how it looks and it shows everything but um, going to Genesis latest movies as you can see it's fairly uh, pretty quick and responsive and like no lags so we'll check out Dead Rising uh, looks like Genesis is acting a little funny today not a problem let's try this source right here there you go of course you know Dead Rising is an awesome game on Xbox and this is the, I guess the the movie they came out with on Crackle it looks pretty interesting if you're into the zombies and of course if you're a true fan of the game but um, looking back into Cody skip ahead without ease you know pretty much instant um, I'm just jumping up ahead and not a problem looks really good let's go back try something else again you know just scrolling through all this it's just quick no lag and it just makes it nice for once to have an Android box loaded with a Kodi course could be your ultimate media center which is really great um, we'll try IP TV stalker for those who had issues I mean you can go to the website CodyFire.tv. there's a fix for it that I provided that's been going around the internet thanks to everyone for their the community for their involvement as well. We'll go to all. Yeah, you know it's a great source for live TV and and pretty much all the entertainment for it, all the content you know throughout the, the United States and pretty much throughout the world. Just depending on your list, you can really customize these things, especially with the iView TV guide add-on as well. Let's give it a shot. We'll try this one right here. It says ABC Miami. It's what's in there uh, again you know it's pretty pretty quick I'm very impressed uh, so far right now this probably has to be one of my top five uh, Android boxes for Cody I'll try this right here again you know this is live Just overall, very impressed. Uh, I know some of the issues that they have with some of the sources right now. Like certain sources are having a problem. I know Phoenix was having a problem for a little bit, but they fixed it with an update. Of course, it's pretty cool, especially if you have kids. You know, you go into this source, Phoenix, and now they provide the full Disney uh, collection. So everything from the 1930s to the present is on there. But again, if you're looking to get another box, I do recommend uh, getting this one. Like I said, it's very quick for everything it does. Not, not only just for Cody, but for all the gaming stuff. A lot of great games on here, a lot of game streaming. And they do have a service, which we're going to look into on the next video. Which is supposed to allow you to stream the games. I'm not sure if it's a paid service yet, or they are going to charge pretty soon. Uh, we'll look at this add-on as well. Playbox, great source. Especially, you know, if you have an uh, iPhone or Android phone, it's a great app to view stuff as well. Try this real quick. Like I said, just trying to 
not show too much due to copyright restraints and reasons for YouTube and so on. But again, you know, skipping through without a problem, this thing just runs like a champ. So, I mean, there you have it. So, of course, like I said, you know, those are familiar with Cody. Just uh, load it with all the add-ons that you want. I do recommend this one too. It's in the Shadows repo. Great source for everything as well. Uh, Robinhood Project is also Showbox. You know, you name it pretty much. Everything's on here. And of course, uh, this thing can handle pretty much anything. So if there's community builds that you want to try. I'm sure that it works really well. Because like I, I haven't had a problem with it yet at all. Um, side loading is easy. You can just install, you know, apps to side load directly with the USB thumb drive. Of course, you have music, pictures, and so forth. So just, just feel free to customize it to your liking. And of course, uh, you know, it, it's the best Kodi experience thus far. You said shut it off. It doesn't take too long. You click it. It's very, you know, it's pretty responsive. Again, you know, just depending on your internet connection, you can use. I think it's Total TV installer or Total Installer to check your speeds. And you know, of course, it's always recommended to plug it through your Ethernet. But again, you know, um, we'll be looking at the games part of it. And of course, you know, using these app, these apps like the Silo Launcher and the ES File Explorer to show you uh, certain things in the next video looking more to do uh, game stuff and other great uh, you know Android apps so there you have it like I said it's a box that I do recommend so give it a shot like I said if you're in the market for a new box definitely recommend this console the Nvidia Shield console besides this controller here like I said, it's pretty big but it's a pretty solid piece you can go on their website or on Amazon and purchase the actual remote control which is like an Android Fire TV controller as well, and I, I believe you can Bluetooth that into this unit also. So you have many options, of course. And then again, with side loading all these apps, and then whatever Nvidia provides through the Shield Hub, it's gonna it's a great experience. So there you have it. Uh, feel free to uh, comment, subscribe to my channel. Like I said, we're in the process of doing more things with more videos. Hopefully, you know better videos once we get everything set up with the GoPros and all the camera equipment and so forth. But feel free to visit the website also if you need any resources or any info, any help, www.codyfire.tv. And please like, subscribe, and then we'll see you then.